All right, this is part one. Part one of likely a two-part video. This one will be short. <coughs> and I'm filming uh, an off-trail route that my buddy and I, we worked out over some time. It took us some time, but we did it. Uh, I did most of the cutting though, of the foliage and stuff, because this is in my neighborhood almost. So I've been up here quite a bit, but um, my buddy and I, we traveled this the first time together, I don't know, maybe, maybe even six months ago, but we came from the top of the Irish Hills down to this place. And uh, we didn't quite find the best route the first way through. It was quite a, oh boy, I got to pee already. Hang on a second. Let me go pee. Hope you don't mind. I know you can't see it. I just drank a bunch of water. All right. Okay, let's put our shirt back. Here we go. As you can see, it, whoa, that's a big spider web. Let's get rid of that guy. That would have been all over my face. So as you can see, uh, relatively flat here, almost like it was bulldozed, huh? In fact, we think that it was at one time, but, up until recently, you couldn't walk through here. There was too much foliage. Now, right, right, specifically right here, there wasn't. But pretty soon, we get to a place where I had to cut a brush tunnel to get through. Otherwise, practically rips your clothes off. We've been through here so much that now it's starting to get pushed back. But in through here, this is where it was the worst. And I didn't cut it all the way through. It still gets caught on my clothes and stuff, but we had developed another route which went down there and swung around and came back up around the side here, but I discovered a little shortcut through here. So this is the way I go now. And if you got trained eyes, you can tell that something's been treading here. I can't see any boot prints, but there's definite uh, fresh, you know, kicked up dirt kind of stuff going on. Oh, I forgot to turn my phone off. I'm going to do that. I'll do that while I hike. Not off, but I gotta turn the airplane mode on. So I don't run out of batteries. Okay. Cut 
because my boss may need me today, so I want to make sure I have enough batteries for later. Yeah, it's a Saturday. An unusual one. tell that we've been been through here I can it doesn't take very long when you travel a section to show signs trampled trampled foliage grass dirt, rocks kicked out of the way. Maybe five years ago, 10 years, somebody was out here doing a marijuana grow, like an illegal one. And my buddy and I, we discovered it. We want to clean it up because it's a lot of trash that they left behind. But it'll take quite a bit of time and effort and many trips. And by the way, there's many sections through here that were impassable before, but thanks to my cutting, we've already been through some. I've gotten rid of it all. So, yeah, so this is a private ranch, but we are certain that none of the ranchers ever come by here, ever. So, I just run free out here, but just in case uh, they were to come by, We've developed a completely off-trail way of getting through the entire ranch and safely back into San Luis Obispo City property, where we're only exposed, like, for about 100 feet, 50 feet, two different times. So we think that we'll be able to do this for years and years without ever getting caught. That's the way I like it. Uh, granted, I don't, it is their property, it's private, but on the other hand, we don't do any harm. So, I don't think we're morally wrong from that point of view. And to be honest, if I, I've actually been contemplating uh, contacting the, the owner of the ranch and asking for permission if we were to 
continue to do no harm. Only hike ourselves, just my buddy and me, nobody else. And if we clean up this grow operation, you know, I think property owners, if you approach them with respect, you might just get a yes. I've been contemplating it quite a bit. But on the other hand, like if I were to do that, then it's possible that they would say no and that they would want me to stop. And uh, I don't want to risk that because I love this place now. It's great. I just had to wipe my head down. Whoa. Big spider web. I walked into it a little because I wasn't looking. But I felt it. Okay, I gotta do my hat right. It's caught up. There we go. That grow, that grow operation or grow site is really close to here. It's right around the corner, actually. As you can see, we didn't completely clear this. I didn't want to just in case the ranch owners come by, I didn't want them to freak out at a freeway going through their property. Okay, I can see one of the flags. So it's just up here off to the left. But I'll stop and show you. They left a lot of junk. See, there it is, all that stuff in there. I'm not gonna go that way because it's a little harder. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, great. I just ripped my pants wide open. Whew. Wide open. My whole knee is exposed now. Shoot. I'm sure that that's going to get me into some trouble in the poison oak area. do about that. I wonder if I have an extra bandana to tie it around my knee. You see typical some of the things I cut just to get through here. This was all solid before solid brush. Yeah my knees kind of scraped up already just from some of these bushes. I think I'm going to have to do something to protect my skin. These pants are old. They ripped easily. show you where I'm walking. See my knee? It's all scraped up now. I 
think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, I'm gonna stop the video for right now.